this is just my measuring stick so I know how long to make each log so it fits best in my wood stove. So it started raining again outside. And so I took the opportunity to come back in and finish organizing the hardware corner. Still a lot of stuff, but at least it's organized now, easy to find stuff, and I think it looks a lot better. All right, so it stopped raining again. Right now, I think I'm going to try and tackle this problem. Another large beetle kill spruce broke at the base there, and it is snagged up in that uh, birch tree. Good thing it is, otherwise, it could have possibly crushed the outhouse, although it would have possibly fallen just to the right of it. But I'm going to get the come along out and uh. Yeah, try and get this thing on the ground so it's not just a hanging widow maker.
Alrighty. This section right here is blocking the tree from getting pulled the direction that I want to pull it. This may be end up doing the same thing, but for now I'm just worried about that. rope on it and get it all ready to pull. Follow through. it all nice and pretty so it's easy to untie. So if you don't achieve your goal, by the time you get to the end of your come along wire rope, you gotta play the fun game of unwinding it, taking enough of the tension off where you can reset it. So that's why you don't get too much tension on it at any given time. One or two more pull sessions.
March 28th, 1996. It was a Thursday. Alaska Hustle to change. Pipeline has until Sunday to overhaul quality control system. There's probably the guy doing it too. What else is in here? Oh. How can you beat these prices? Car sales. Let's see what you could have bought back in 1996. You could have gotten a 95 Ford Probe for $12,995. A 95 Ford Bronco 4x4 for $19,995. A 95 Ranger Super Cab, $18,595. Or a 96 3 quarter ton Super Cab 4x4 for 22595 A couple other good ones in there too. A 96 Ford Half Ton for $16,995. Oh, and this North Star is truly a bright light on Alaska's horizon. The North Star oil field, BP. Let's burn it. is kind of the it's bridging the gap between now and when I can retire uh, I don't know if we'll sell it after that or if we'll just hang on to it and use it as a, a remote cabin that we can always go out to and enjoy but uh, yeah that's that's the story of this cabin as far as the the channel goes uh, right now I'm just kind of don't really have a plan with it I just come out here put a camera up do my thing some of you guys like it some of you guys don't um, I work a full-time job, I'm uh, also a full-time family man. Like I said, I'm just, I'm going to keep doing it, I'm going to keep having fun with it, uh, and perhaps in the future, because it'll probably be about a year before I can get out here again. Uh, in the meantime, uh, we may upload some family camping trips in Japan, um, but my, my goal is to keep it kind of a, an outdoors type channel, camping, hiking, canoeing, cabin stuff. I, mean, I wanted to start a YouTube channel back in 2016, and that's why I bought this camera that I'm filming on now, which is you know, by now completely obsolete. I never took any film classes or anything in high school. Everything I'm doing is just kind of point, shoot, and go. Uh, so there is a lot of instances of, oh, my battery died, and the, the, the frame of the picture is not exactly where I wanted it, but that, that's all right. I think you guys kind of get the picture. Sitting here just kind of thinking about it. Future projects. Uh, one, two, three, four. At least six. Dead standing spruce, beetle kill, that got to come out. One birch. And then couple of stumps, but if I, if I can get all those down, do a whole lot of digging and a little bit of burning, actually a lot of burning, then we could have a nice little flat area right here. Slightly higher than the cabin, but right on the lake shore. Uh, this would be a great place for like an outdoor kitchen or even just uh, like the, the, the gathering area, the outdoor fire pit. Since the cabin is very small, it's, it's only about 12 by 16, something like that. Um, yeah, I, I do plan to uh, renovate the inside of it one piece at a time, uh, given that I have one kid now, and who knows what we'll have in the future, but I definitely want to have maybe some form of a bunk bed system. So the, the pitch on the roof is a low pitch. So it would be hard to put a loft in there, but you know, as far as like a kid's sleeping loft, I might try and throw something up there, uh, or just do kind of like a improvised bunk bed system where there's a about a queen size sleeping area on top and a queen size sleeping area on bottom. Uh, that way, both my wife and I and our children can uh, have places to sleep when they come out here for this trip, at least. It was, just had to be a solo trip. Probably the, the first few months of living in Tokyo, uh, 
I love the city, I love people, but I also need my own space and my own solitude. So. Thank you. 